Few leaders will admit it, but time and again, the growth of their organizations outruns their skills and abilities. As their jobs grow bigger, leaders can get disoriented by new challenges of scale and complexity. At some point, most leaders will run into a wall of ineffectiveness, a stall point. Their business has grown, but they have not. Leaders tend to stall for recognizable reasons. When they fail to provide purpose, when they allow their teams to splinter, when they neglect their stakeholders, when they fail to lead change, when they lose authority in the eyes of their followers, when they focus their time and energy in the wrong places, and when they don't or can't develop strong leaders under them. When confronting a stall, most leaders try to double down on the managerial and technical skills that have worked for them before. They work harder, reorganize, hire new people, and implement new systems or management fads. After all, they've been really successful in getting their organization to this new level. More of the same must be the answer. But what causes leaders to stall is not growing complexity, it's growing sophistication. Leaders don't need to reinvent their organizations, systems, and methods. They need to reinvent themselves. Such a reinvention demands learning new skills, mindsets, and behaviors. It depends on increasing self-awareness, being more open to changing oneself, and tapping practical frameworks to address more sophisticated challenges. It means expanding purpose effectively, aligning teams, engaging and influencing stakeholders, nurturing relationships and dialogue, developing gravitas, redirecting energy, and grooming successors. The book, What Happens Now, by Mark Nevins and John Hillen, can help you to embrace the reality that leadership stalls are a natural and reoccurring part of your success as a leader. Sooner or later, you'll face a stall, and when you do, Hillen and Nevins will show you how to bounce back and thrive.